Okay, let's get started. Timer's working. Three, two, one. Come on, that always seems to happen in this fight. This is one of the more relaxing parts of the run. Just doing these mini games. really wants to play this game, I really recommend the DS version, because I think it's the best one. Even though they're all the same game. The Wii version is pretty much the same, it just has too many loading screens.
That went that went pretty good. Oh man. You know, it seems like in the- oh, why did you even do that? Hmm. Encountering monsters doesn't lose too much time depending on who the monster is. It's kind of like in a Pokemon game, you encounter a wild Pokemon, you just flee. Every run's bound to have some. Also, this Electro Trace minigame sucks on the Wii because you have to use, like, point at the screen and trace over it. It just sucks. But the DS one, you just have to trace over it, like this. Oh, uh, right. Whoa! What okay, that's just unlucky. I really hate it when I try to go up into an area, and then right as I come into the next screen, a monster's coming down. I hate it when that happens. paying attention. Oh god. Dude, get out of my way. This is the one where I have to fight three monsters. Or five of them, I think. My muscle memory is going to be a little messed up because I put my ogre arm and my cannon mark on like the opposite arms I normally put them on. Like I usually put the cannon mark one on my left arm, but now uh, it's on my right arm. So it's not going to affect anything. It's just going to affect my muscle memory a little bit. So I'll just need to remember that.
dude. I went for an attack even though he was low on battery, because there, even though there is a potential risk of him dodging, he could also just recharge. One more hit should kill him. He's got the same torso I ha I do. It doesn't have much health. But it misses. Damn. Oh, he it was a failed dodge. That's nice. Also, you don't have to repair your monster after every battle. I only do it when one of my parts turn red. Oh, there's only three monsters. Please don't dodge. Oh, it's just a miss. It was a failed dodge. Now I better repair. Sometimes these pathways are a little weird. Sometimes that one monster is a little tough to avoid. Some of the mini games are also different between the DS and Wii versions. Some of them are the same, some of them are different. The timer does actually pause whenever you go to a new stage, but if I stay still for too long, the experiment could end up in a failure. I'm gonna see if I can survive this. I've never tried it before. Just stay still. I guess that method works.
that was convenient. Okay, I might w encounter that monster. It'd be very close. Oh man, that was close. Uh, okay, that one I might encounter. It's okay, I'm gonna run. I haven't heard the mini game for making a mechanical torso is different in the Wii version. This is also one of the shorter mini games. It's at 50 seconds. Sometimes I talk to Fuseless there when you're not supposed to. gonna run. I'm just gonna kill it. <sighs> Might be a two-hitter. I'm definitely gonna repair my monster because I do want to be at full health for the fight. I split after I exit the fight. I don't repair after this fight because you go back to the castle immediately after. But, uh, yeah, as soon as the 
I leave the fight, then I split. That fight actually went better than usual. down another way. I'm actually a minute and 40 seconds ahead of this split. Whoa! That would have been close. I just get the same shape three times in a row. I wasn't paying too close attention. I was trying not to screw up. Okay, that's definitely the same shape. So, four times in a row. Fuck. If you fail one of those, you actually take damage. Not all minigames, but just the force fields. What the? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was scrolling down in my notes. That's my bad. shit. I dropped my stylus on the floor. That's embarrassing.
dead. You know when I first played this minigame a long time ago? I thought it was the same as the Wieldotron. Because it had like this long line, so I was doing this. And then I ended up failing it. And I'm like, what the hell did I do wrong? This is to make legs. And when you start learning mechanical stuff, you learn the arms, then the head, then legs, then torso. In this, you, you, you learn the legs, the arm, the head, and the torso. In the alchemical lab, you learn the legs, the head, the arms, and the torso. All of them pretty much have the torso last. that mistake many times because I would think I'm in the biology lab then I press B to exit it but then I realized I'm already down in the command center room do this fight because my monster really needs to be repaired. For some reason in this game there's this weird glitch where if you end up going back to the castle without the castle option, like you talk to someone and you teleport back, your monster doesn't get automatically repaired. I don't know if that was intended or a glitch, but yeah, that's the thing in this game. Yellow, red, red, yellow, yellow, yellow.
Lucky they gave me an easy one. Yeah, I might encounter this mini game often. Cuz they're the kind of the same thing as the wandering monsters. It's all right if I fail it. bug just formed there. I've never been good at that bug game. Never been good at it. Alright, now we're going to make a Cannon Mark II. Same as the Cannon Mark I, except it's more powerful. It does require more energy though, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm also going to make a new Torso too.
metal platter and a lock washer. Oops, I pressed A one too many times. I'm not actually going to use those legs because I did not mean to get the slow defect on it. So, I'm not going to use those legs. The legs aren't really that important, they're just for extra health. There would be a higher chance of my legs getting knocked out, but I'm not going to get it where I'm going to have slow on it. I mean, usually if I used a thorn creeper, which I have a chance of getting through one of the tree minigames I do, it would just have like a drained effect. Or an inefficient effect. Defect. But this one had slow. It's honestly one of the worst defects you could have. I'll stick with my vine legs. I mean, they both have flea on them still. That's the only thing I ever used my those legs for anyway. The vine legs and the octopus legs. They're only meant for fleeing. I have the potential to save a lot of time here because I actually failed this fight last run. The my personal best. Even though it's technically not a personal best, I'm just going to kill this guy. It's not a personal best because I accidentally made a final split, which is why there's a Marty Manor split, even though I never completed the run. The reason I failed was because I forgot to make the torso. Alright. Also this torso, the reason I use a lock washer is because I get the slippery like uh, effect. It's a positive, it increases my chances of dodging. Even if I had no effect on it, it would still be good. Creeper. Yeah, I beat my personal best by like 11 minutes. Come on, get me a steak.
Yeah, this is probably one of my least favorite mini games. If there was like a little red dot that could tell you where you were aiming at, then I'd be fine with it, but... You kind of have to throw like above their head in order to get in it. Kind of sucks. This is my least favorite mini game. Oh. Okay, this is a little tricky. Let's see how well I can do this. Oh, I didn't know I was on one. Oh god. Oh, that was actually pretty fast. Even though it says, like, use a mutant larva and a thorn creeper, I should just say two random ingredients, because you're not even going to use this torso. I also kind of hate this minigame, too. The only ones I like are the arm Atagon and the stitch o -matic. The legs and arms. Huh, I made a slippery effect. That's nice. But I'm not gonna use it anyway, so... Besides, my current torso is slippery. Okay, these monsters are being a pain. We're now going to enter a fight that is actually impossible to win. Because it activates a little side mission we have to do to get a new biological head and torso. We'll keep the head, but the torso we're only going to use for this one battle. Because the torso, even though it has like 400 health, it's a... Uh, how do I say it? It has a low, it only has 24 energy on it. To make up for the fact it has a lot of health. So I'll keep the head, but the torso I will change back. Hurry up and kill me.
I'm getting pretty lucky with this monster movement today. I may encounter those uh, bugs. You're gonna get three burlap sacks and three fresh brains. Whoa. The fresh brains aren't as important because you only use them once, but the burlap sacks, you use up all three of them. Huh, one skull. Do all three of us have the same head? Oh god, that's hilarious. In this one I have to use a burlap sack and a dried snoo. We get these for free. Oh, we know that's a sticky goo. Also, for those who don't know, the quality here, which is this bar, it doesn't affect like how well the part will perform, because all the attacks and like energies will still be the same. It'll still be the same, it just affects how much health something has. But I forgot to mention, I suck at this game. Here's a steak. Steak is really helpful in this game. Right, fresh brain sticky goo. We only used this torso for that one battle with uh, De La Sombra. That's his name. And then after that, I just. Uh,
Plus, you, if you use the Fresh Brain Sticky Goo combo, you get a positive effect called Tough, which increases its health. I mean, beforehand, the torso already had a good amount of health. There's you, and we need the head. Now I fight his monster again. You still kind of lose, but he'll be impressed with how long you lasted, so he'll come back. You know, I always wondered what happens if you, like, hacked the game to, like, get all the highest parts, and you killed him in, like, two hits. Does he still, does the game still think you lost? Four hundred and fifty nine health. That's with the positive effect, too. Before we go back, we just have to put the old torso back on. This is the part where we have to defeat five consecutive monsters. What I usually do, I look at my uh, cannon mark and my head to see what is super effective against the torso. All these monsters here are actually predetermined, so I actually know what monsters I'm facing. Ah, it was worth a try. Yeah, my legs are definitely going to be knocked out easier, because I chose not to put on the stronger legs. I mean, later, we do end eventually end up putting on stronger legs. Not till much later, though. I meant to use headbutt, not putrid belch. Well, fuck. Well, this is why I got the that arm. I 
I can also use the stylus, but you can also use the directional pad in the A, B buttons. A for the top attack, B for the bottom attack. That's what I've mostly been using. Maybe after this I should definitely, like, fix my monster back up. I am actually in quite a bit of trouble because my headbutt will do more damage than diagonal chop. Yeah, this may be my first time loss. Like in a monster fight. Where I could lose. Yep, I lost. That's what I get for not healing my monster. I don't have to defeat those monsters over again. I just have to defeat that one again. So yeah, that definitely lost me some time, but... I've had a lot of time gain for my personal best, so... It's not too bad. This is the monster. See, it would have been a three hit kill with headbutt. Alright, the final monster's up here. Alright, this is the only one where he has a mechanical torso, which means uh, <clears throat> there's no super effective move to use on the torso since I don't have alchemical parts yet. <clears throat> Sometimes it's worth attacking even though he, he might dodge. It's because if he recharges, then you wouldn't have wasted a turn dodging. Oh yeah, we have to defeat the minion. He always seems to miss turn two out of all the times I practice fighting this guy. Dang it. Damn, 
damn, that hurt. He plays really on the defensive side. By dodging and blocking. That's what I seem to notice. Basically how this works, you take one shape and try to make a chain of the same shape and you put it in one of the green fires to fill up the health bar down here. And when one of the colors is filled up, you get a bonus. system's flat and I'm not holding it in my hands. I was supposed to talk to Barley first after I race the ghost. Then I go back. <clears throat> well, that just lost like 20 seconds. This is probably my favorite minigame. You basically just like press left, up, X, or A to the to the keys. You don't press it just before it hits the button. Kind of like when the skulls line up with the skulls on the button.
I missed one. Twice. The reason the left and A buttons aren't being used is because those aren't used until difficulty 2 or higher. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to do something here, but I'm not. It's just sometimes during certain, before I fight certain bosses, I have to like do something, like make a part. But not this boss. I think my, uh, hold on. My previews starting to lag a little bit. So sorry if there's any lag. Which there might be. I think the lag seemed to fix itself. Oops. Okay, the lag is fixed. Sometimes it lags like that, it just goes away on its own. One time it was so bad, my whole computer was crashing and OBS was recording it. It literally said a quarter of a frame a second. So that means one second in a 60 FPS game was gonna be represented in like f four minutes or something. Damn it. If that didn't miss, his head would have came off in one shot. See? Normally this is a three or four hit kill boss. If it doesn't miss... That's okay, I don't need my legs. multi-attack. make a really powerful alchemical arm. Like it'll do over a hundred damage to the torso. And the head. The disadvantage is its health is pretty low. Like the most powerful version of that part you can make only has like a hundred health. Some heads at level three or at a higher level have more head more health than that. Usually the head has the lowest amount of health. But for my final monster when I defeat the final boss that arm will have the lowest amount of health out of everything. very good at this minigame.
I hate these lightning balls here. Plus, if a lightning ball hits you during this, it interrupts the whole game. Damn it. Dude! Well, my legs are dead. Now we're going to make a new torso. We're actually going to use it. The key is, reflect it back like as soon as they launch it. Because if you're a little closer, you have a higher chance of hitting it. You have to hit the ghosts to raise up the health, so I'm pretty bad at this. But later, I have to do this at difficulty 3 for, one, for my final torso. The higher difficulties can make it a little easier, because you have, like, upgrades you can get. I used to just do this, and it would just reflect back somewhere. That new torso I made is a sack of bale. It has like 40 health. I meant 40 energy. And it has a positive effect called supercharged, which gives it extra energy. So it'll have like 47 or so. Yeah, there's bugs in this level too. They suck. It's 40 actually. I think 40 is including the supercharge. I think without it, it might be like 35 or something.
don't care so much about the head or legs. But since my leg, I, I just hope my legs don't get destroyed by like lightning bolts. Because otherwise I won't be able to run away from monsters. I did not mean to go up. Will it still let me flee? Nope. I'm worried I might encounter that other monster. I just saw my timer. According to my previous segment, I lost two and a half minutes. So I know the order. You have to do basically as top, left, right, and bottom. So this is the top. So I do top, left, right, then uh, top, left, bottom, top, right. Oh no. That's nice. This one is a little tricky though. His torso has a lot of health. Plus his head has a blocking move. I'm 
I'm gonna use the uppercut to get rid of his head. Now I don't have to worry about downward block. So lucky right there. quicker to kill him if, instead of running. I'm just gonna kill you.
might be a three hit kill. I can't exact I can't exactly memorize which fights are like three hit kills or nine thousand hit kills or whatever. I don't remember stuff like that. I am starting to get oh it's a four hitter. Okay. I am starting to get better at memorizing the route because I did this game quite a few number of times. Better be careful not to encounter any monsters. My legs got destroyed. can't run so I have to kill it. Cannon Mark II is pretty overpowered. Dude, what the hell was that glitch? I encountered something, but I was still running down. And I just, my legs got knocked out, so I have to do this fight. I think I just got a superconductor. That's actually a good part that I need for later. Because for the Wildwoods boss, I need to get a new torso. And the, an ingredient to get it a positive effect is a superconductor. so satisfying.
Hold on, what am I supposed to do here? I think I'm supposed to talk to him twice. So I'm pretty confused right now. What? What the fuck? I must have forgotten to press A when I got the part. God, I'm so fucking stupid. I thought I picked it up, but I didn't. I am such a frickin' moron. This is one of the easiest boss fights ever. I just use uppercut on my foul scareclaw three times. Normally it's supposed to go quicker than that. I lost two minutes on that split. These, I always used to struggle with this puzzle as a kid, but I know how to do it now. First thing you do first, search, searching right there allows you to trace this one. Now to get the second one. All these three monsters have to be defeated.
Once you defeat the three monsters, you can trace the second rune. And then when you do the shovel minigame, you get to do the final one. I'm surprised I still passed that. do three consecutive battles without healing. That's a two-hit kill. So, even though I'm still seven and a half minutes ahead of personal best, I still lost about four minutes due to mistakes. Especially that big mistake that cost me so much time. Like, I thought I pressed A, but I didn't. I mean, everywhere else I played really good. It was up until this point I started messing up. Dang, you miss recharge. That just sucks. Dude.
This race is a little bit tougher because you move a little slower. You kind of have to charge up your speed. Now I gotta do the quiz. I like how some of her questions were pretty biased, like, Are Dryads stronger than meat? Yes, that is correct. Some of these turns are a little weird to make. Oh my god. crystal. I use one of those to make a head later, but one of the missions I complete guarantees me a power crystal, so it doesn't really matter, but it's cool, I guess. Oops, I thought that was a flower.
I'm kind of going a little slow on the tracing because my hands are starting to shake. Now I just have to destroy the fourth flower and kill the final boss. But I'm not going to do that just yet because I got to make some new parts. Jumper cables. Superconductor. Yep, here's my superconductor. It makes a volcanic core with a positive effect on it. The superconductor will give it a positive effect. Oh yeah, something about the physics of this game. Sometimes it makes you turn the screw to the left. See? You don't turn screws left unless they're opposite screws or something. Thick paint and greasy sprocket. I'm supposed to use a greasy sprocket because I'm guaranteed to get one, but a neutron reactor thingy, the thing I just used, I'm, I'm going to consider using it because the greasy sprocket gives it a negative effect. I've been unable to control that because I have to get a cannon mark 4, and that's the guaranteed level 4 item I'm going to get. Well, not 4, but level 3. It's the guaranteed one I'm going to get. But then I figured, huh, maybe instead of the greasy sprocket, I might use that. Who knows, maybe it might give a positive effect. I won't put it in my notes saying, hey, use a neutron reactor, because you're not guaranteed to get one. I just got some through some monsters I fought. Some that makes this harder, not only does it go faster, but if you're off of the black line for longer, I meant for quicker, then uh, you'll start to burn up. I'd have to blow into the mic to cool it down. I don't know how you'll do that on emulator. The reason I'm not doing this on emulator, even though I could capture footage easier, is because some of these mini games would be way too hard for me to do. Oh, f five red circles. I nearly burned out. Huh, it gives it a supercharged. All right, let's see. Create a pair of biological legs, the mutant larva, and a violet plasma. Do I have a mutant larva? Yes. I don't have a mutant larva. I'm at a violet plasma, but toxic ooze will probably do just fine. So on the higher difficulties here, the bugs start flying around. You gotta squish bugs before they get into the seam. Only the red flashing bugs will go straight into it. But if you squish bugs, you get bonus points. Adds to your quality here. Damn it. I gotta start being careful. This will be my new pair of legs. Volcanic core. 
Can I mark four? Trunk legs. I guess having a neutron reactor will work just as nice, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, fuck. What the hell? Ah, uh, that rare glitch happened. Sometimes my monster doesn't save properly. It, I think it's some glitch in the game. I don't know what causes it to do that. Like, if you go into a battle with it, you'll automatically lose. I'm just glad I captured that in a speedrun, because that just shows people that glitch. It was in an another run I did at one point. But I guess it's in the speed run now. Squash the blue bugs. <laughs> Alright, now to destroy the final flower. Fuck. kill him. It was kind of cool I got that neutron reactor for the Cannon Mark IV, because apparently it gives it a supercharge. One time during a practice run, I ended up getting a, I ended up getting a drained side effect. Not only in the Cannon Mark IV, which you, you would get if you used a greasy sprocket, which is what you're supposed to, because that's the one you get by default. Unless you get a neutron reactor, then you can use that. One of my other parts ended up getting drained on it, including my torso. I didn't have a superconductor, so I used something else, and I got drained. So my torso only had like 40 health, 40 energy. It was bad. But that was a practice run, so. I pr I'm pretty sure that sound is lag. It's lagged. to do. 
Ah, yeah. I'm supposed to create a new biological arm using a wolf's blood and a toxic ooze. Here it is, wolf's blood, toxic ooze. The toxic ooze, uh, it gives it a positive effect, I think. I'm not sure. Either that or it gives no effect. Perfect health. Nice. Replace the fell scare claw. I know it seems like the final boss is an hour and a half away, but it's not. That split, I've died like 12 times to him. I may be exaggerating, but I died a lot. That's all you need to know. Alright, this guy here is pretty tough. This is why you need the werewolf claw. Yeah, having a miss here would be bad. That's why he's tough. I got more superconductors. Well, it's, I don't need more, but I was just pointing that out. Here's all the other mini games we've never done before. You basically hit the gems to mine them out. Star powder. This one you have to find the weak spot on the box. Sometimes it's a little annoying. If you don't make the werewolf claw, you're in big trouble in these fights. Who a philosophy or? Also, the one part I really need is a diamond, because using it with a power, using a power crystal and a diamond to make an alchemical head will, will give my head that I need regeneration. But if I don't have it, then a philosophy ore works just fine, because it gives it no effect. So either a diamond or a philosophy ore, and I got a philosophy ore.
Will you get out of here? I don't know, there's just weird stuff in this game. Because I'm supposed to search there, but sometimes it doesn't work. It's just a stupid glitch in this game, I think. Ah. Cybat. Yep, now we're gonna go back and summon a demon. My bad. Also, that move he uses, uses up all of his energy. The reason I knocked that arm off first is because he had that move, that arm has a move that can really kill you. His head is also pretty bad because it has downward block. So I knocked it out. Yeah, his torso has a lot of health. Oh look, my torso has 9 health left. That's why. That demon, Cybat, is really hard. Well, not hard, but it can definitely go wrong. Actually, healing is unnecessary. I don't know why I'm doing this. make a new head. Power crystal. I don't think I have a diamond. Nah, philosophy or will, will work just fine. The order the skulls come in is always the same per difficulty. Well, that was some nice miss mispressing. Difficulty 4 is a little bit harder, but I can get 100% quality on that. Now I gotta make alchemical legs using the evil tome and a philosophy ore.
I won't be able to use these legs till later, though. I won't be able to use them till near the final fight. But they are incredibly powerful legs. So this, what makes this difficulty different? Those purple things are like evil shapes. They'll destroy any chain if you try to chain up with one. See? I touched one by accident and it destroyed my whole chain. Not bad, three quarters. Now I replace the head. And I actually replace the Cannon Mark IV with the Fell Scare Claw. I only use the Cannon Mark IV for a short time. Hold up. Huh. My notes are spelled weirdly. It says replace it with the arm you made, but the last arm I made was the Fell Scare Claw. So I'm gonna have to fix that error. This monster I'm gonna have to kill because he's in the way. Whenever a monster ends up in that section up there, he never moves out of it, besides two spaces. So you'd have to kill it. Oh god. I've seen many people get confused in this maze, but all you do is take the left teleporter, this one, and then the next one, and then you're there. Huh, usually that knocks out his head. Ooh. What the hell was that? Head must have lived on like one health left. I'm gonna have to keep using optical beam. Because normally his head's supposed to knock off, and then it would take another uppercut to knock out his torso. Alright, at least he's dead. But well, that was freaking weird. I think some attacks in this game are range. Like, who knows, he could have lived on one health. I wasn't supposed to... Sometimes I heal my monster up when I'm not supposed to. 
Alright, now most people would think that you can just challenge the Baron right away, but then we have to take down some electrical towers. Alright, now we have to get some rockets. Must have made an error. We destroyed one of the towers. Now we just have to calibrate the other three rockets. Even though we shot down the junk stack tower, we just have to calibrate the other rockets so they'll go to where we want them to later. Because we still have to defeat a boss at the tower before we can launch a rocket. Damn it. That was bad. Damn it. Alright, now I have to go to the three locations. <laughs> See, that's the energy tower. I'm just gonna kill you right away. <laughs> the one mini game we've never done is that skull puzzle game. Because none of them are required to finish the game. None of the puzzle mini games. Fifty two to sixteen. What is that, like thirty six health? Yeah, it is. Th I think it is thirty six. That's a very expensive move to use. Oh god. Now the Neverglades. That's the other energy tower right there. Come on. 
time, get out of the way. My little trick for kind of doing this, I try and kill the blue bugs, most of them, so that way there's usually only the orange ones left. Sometimes it works. Whoa! That was so close. Even though the Cannon Mark IV could have been useful here, I needed the Fell Scareclaw to take out Gorbok. He's got one of those high health torsos. The same torso that Psyvat used. My volcanic core only has like 68 energy left. The Candle Mark IV did give it a supercharge. Hold up, Fell Scareclaw. Was I supposed to make a new arm? Oh, maybe those instructions were supposed to tell me to make a new arm. I think I was supposed to make a new... I was supposed to make a Bane Scareclaw, which is a most more powerful form of it. It would explain why Gorbok didn't die in one hit. I'll fix it uh, after I fi get rid of the Tombstone Rise Tower. I better be sure to fix my notes about that, because that really confused me. Guess we're doing this. All right, now uh, I better build that arm. I know what I was supposed to use. My final burlap sack. And a philosophy ore. I forgot to put in the instructions, make that arm. That's why it says, equip the arm you just made. Even though it never told me to make an arm.
I'm also supposed to make a new torso. Ow. I thought that was one of those things you just go through. But I guess it wasn't. It's got slow, but that doesn't matter. What was I supposed to use here? Just a sec. Because I'm supposed to make a dragon body. But for some reason I have nowhere in the instructions where it says you make it. Even though I know I'm supposed to. Alright. Now I really know shit is really wrong with my notes. You know what? I don't know if it really matters too much. Because of the strategy I'm doing. Ah, here it is. It's way back there. I'm supposed to use a rattlesnake and a stardust. I really gotta fix my instructions. I keep saying stardust, but it's a star powder. I better fix my notes about that. This is a difficulty four. I really want that upgrade where it splits into three every time you reflect an orb. Perfect. That's surprising. Ah, oh, fuck. My steps also said to use a stardust to make that arm. But I think I used up all my burlap sacks. It will have the slow effect, but quick always lets me go first. Dragon body... Bane Stair Garaclaw. You always save before this fight, because even though I did get a nice winning strategy, something could still go wrong, so. I just, I, the reason I left and came back in, I didn't want a monster near the northern part where I would have to fight it. Dude, get out of my way. Oof. That was close. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I can beat the boss first try. I know so many people who struggled with Thrunch. Like, he's so difficult compared to every other boss. I remember times where he was so hard, I just deleted my save file and played new.
because I was so tired of fighting him, but then I eventually had to fight him again. Hold up. I just realized I forgot to equip those legs. Remember those legs a while back that I made? I had to wait a little bit to equip them? minutes from wild boss I know you guys may see that but I don't often look at my timer when doing these runs unless I'm playing on emulator and I have to look at my laptop screen then I don't do it angry mob I mean who even lives here I should make a tutorial or something on my channel called How to Defeat Thrunch in Monster Lab. That'd be pretty cool. This is pretty tough to avoid. Let's do this thing. It mostly relies on blocking moves. I do use a bit of the werewolf arm too. Ow! I hate that arm. Because multi-attack can still hit me even if I blocked. His arm's red. I gotta dodge. Alright, come on. I want your head to attack me. There you go. Because I use my werewolf arm's uppercut to get rid of its head and back ridge to get rid of that arm. Ow. I can only do it if its arm's red, but uppercut, his head can knock off even if it's in the in the, uh, the yellow. Nah, I was done with that head anyway. Because the thing is, his legs and right arm are mechanical, so I can use upward block on my Reaper floater. It barely does any damage to it. Basically what I do, I just uh, I just spam uppercut because using block to get rid of its other parts does take a while, but it's guaranteed to work. So I pretty much just use uppercut until it's knocked off. I'm gonna try a block move. Good thing I did that. Usually when he's low on health like that, he either dodges or blocks.
Only his right arm can hit my legs. But when I block, I can hit anything. See, that's why I use uppercut, because it's a lot quicker to knock it out with uppercut. Ah. Dude! Piece of shit. It'd be quite funny if I beat my personal best by an hour. Ow. Come on. It's in the red. When he collapses down like that, it means it's about to come off in like two hits or so. Block. Block. If he blocks with his legs, it's guaranteed to knock my arm off. Okay, four health left. My legs do have a move that hit the torso, but it only does like 16 damage to it. And doesn't matter, because I won. One, two, three. Two hours, 39 minutes, 15 seconds. That's probably the first time in my life I've ever beaten him first try. The final boss. First time in my whole life. I'm so proud to finally get a run of this done. The major route change, fight, the change in the fight on Thrunch, the final boss, really helped save time. Because you can now kill it in one shot. Stuff could still go wrong, but your chance of winning the fight is quite high. Now that I got the run, I gotta try to get it on Spearon.com. The whole series isn't even on Spearon.com. I'm gonna try to get it on there, be a moderator of it. So what did y'all think of the footage without a capture card? I, even if it's potato cam, kinda like this where you just shoot like a phone or a tablet at it, I can still make it look good with certain settings and filters and stuff. This was a little tricky because all the colors were more dark. If it was a more brighter game, like a Pokemon game, that'd be more easier. Now I just gotta figure out what game I wanna do next. I'm either thinking either go back to doing Pokemon Red Charmander runs, or I might go back to Avatar The Burning Earth GBA. Probably aim for world record there. I got second place, but although I might move down to third soon, because I know someone else is trying to get the world record. He ended up getting a really good time that did beat me, but uh, it was like 10 seconds short of the world record. the one to route this game too. I'm like, what game do I want to run? And I thought, hmm, I could do Monster Lab. That would work. That was not easy to route though. Because of all the different fights and the different parts. I even had an online like a uh, games fact, games frequently asked questions .com, games FAQ. Someone made a list of all the different parts you can make and what gives them positive negative effects. So that really helped. <sighs> Thanks for watching.